Hi, my name is Craig Clement, and today I wanted to show you how to use Google Forms pre-filled links. So normally on a Google Form, you'll see the questions, but all the responses are blank, and teachers or respondents will have to fill out every single question. But with pre-filled links, it actually saves them a little bit of time. So here I have a spreadsheet with some information already. So I'm going to click on this first link for Harry Potter, and it's going to open up the same Google Form, but now instead of all the answers being blank, some of the answers are going to be pre-filled already, and you'll see that populate here in just a second. So there are the teacher's Dumbledore. This is for the student Harry Potter. But then the rest of the form is still blank that teachers would have to fill it out. But it does save them a lot of time of having some of this stuff already pre-filled for them. And it also gives me better data because I don't get the wrong ID number, or misspelled last names, and so forth. But now if I click on the next one for Draco Malfoy, again, it's the same Google form. But now the um, answers are going to be pre-filled for Draco instead of Harry Potter. So to create the pre-filled links, which is kind of like a little bit of a magic trick, um, you go to the edit version of your screen, and you're going to go to the three dots and say get pre-filled link. This is going to open up a new tab, and it looks like you're about to fill out the form like uh, respondents normally would. But instead of submit, it says get link. And so what I do is I just retype in the name of the questions that I want to pre-fill. And you're only going to do this for just the questions you want to pre-fill, the ones that teachers need to reply or need to respond to. You're going to leave those questions blank. And then I do this in all caps to help save myself um, some time and make it easier whenever we are cell referencing here in just a minute. So I retype everything, and then I'm going to hit Get Link. And then it's going to pop up, and I'm going to click Copy Link here. And then now I'll go to my spreadsheet where I have this information. And then I'm going to do my hyperlink formula, so that way it'll be hyperlinked. And then over here, how it says click here for pre-filled form, like you can make it the link say whatever you want. So I can say test, and that is what my link will say over here. So you can customize that. But now when I click on this link, what's going to be pre-filled is all those questions that I typed in. So this is going to say like teacher last name and all the capital letters and student first name. So exactly what I typed in. But now what I'm going to do is I'm going to cell reference to my spreadsheet here. And the trick here is you want to do this right here. The quotations, and sign, and sign quotations is going to be our little trick here. So I'm going to reopen this up. And so for here where it says teacher last name, I'm going to replace that with quotations, and sign, and sign quotations. Then between the and signs, I'm going to click on the cell for the teacher last name. And then I'm going to do that for all these other cells that I want to reference. So student first name, do the quotations, and sign, and sign quotations. Then between the and signs is where I'm clicking on the cell reference. Here. Now when I open this link, instead of saying student last name and teacher name, it'll say Dumbledore and Harry Potter. And then now what I'm going to do is, so I don't want to have to do that for every single one. Well, the beautiful thing about spreadsheets is I can copy this formula down. So now for this last one, Fred Weasley, which I didn't type anything in for Fred Weasley, but I can cell reference and copy down that formula. So now it'll populate for Fred Weasley for me. And that is the magic of Google Forms pre-filled links.